Ravens flock we have what should be a boring and easy game ahead of us but there's still reason to get excited we have another divisional matchup where we have to match up against famous Jameis aka Mr. Steal Your Crab Legs you know with the snow crabs or stone crabs or whatever it might have been mm. how I'm supposed to handle like if if I just got them for free and the crumbling Browns who are on pace to have another disastrous season are you ready? Uh, Let's get <laughs> ready to rumble! It's here, you here. I'm a Raven. It's on. All year, every year. So Ravens Flock, we have what should be a get right game ahead of us. We're going to be playing. We're headed to Cleveland to play the Cleveland Browns tomorrow. This is definitely going to be an interesting game because so much of their season has gone wrong. We're about to go into their building and put them out of their misery. Their season's already over, but we can make it over even more, if that makes sense. We can completely destroy them. This is going to be an interesting game just because I think there's a lot of opportunity to continue to establish confidence amongst certain players and amongst the coaches. This could be a great get back game or get right game for our defense. The Browns have had a struggling O-line all year. They've been dealing with injuries as well as just giving up a lot of sacks. This is also a team. This is also, as far as the Browns offense, this is a offense that has struggled to create any explosive plays. Now that might change with Jameis because Jameis is, at least the last time we saw him, he was always like a gunslinger. So he, he may start taking some serious shots downfield, but I, I just still don't expect them to really have much explosive plays against us. Their weapons are like underwhelming, in my opinion. You know, they got rid of Amari Cooper. And even before they got rid of Amari Cooper, he wasn't having the best season. Uh, Jerry Judy's like a wild card. He has the talent, but he's not somebody you can count on to really do any damage consistently the biggest threat of course is going to be david and joku we have struggled in a lot of games against tight ends this year so i could definitely see Jameis trying to get in joku going early hopefully that's not the case their running attack is not super impressive but nick chubb is returning well he did return last week he had an underwhelming game, but he's also kind of getting back into the swing of things. Hopefully he has another rusty game because I don't want him to come back into his old form against us. Uh, I'd rather him have I'd rather him not get back to his old ways until the week after or the week after that, whatever. Again, this is gonna be a very interesting opportunity for the defense. Uh, I wanna see the defensive line put up more pressure than we have in any other game this season. I think the opportunity will be there. It's just a matter of if they could get it done. Now, the trade deadline comes up in about a week and a half or whatever. So if we can't manage to show that any of our guys can consistently get pressure, I wouldn't be surprised if the, if the Ravens made a move to try to get a pass rusher. I just don't know if any of the pass rushes people are talking about are realistically going to be available i know a lot of ravens fans they want max crosby it, us getting max crosby that's that's damn near a pipe dream in my opinion same thing with miles garrett but i mean i guess we got to kind of wait and see how that works out but i'm also expecting our secondary to have a chance to make some plays and you know build up some confidence because even though Jameis is a gunslinger who does have a strong arm, we all know that Jameis is very prone to just taking very big risks that turn into interceptions over and over again. And I also think this could be a good opportunity to experiment with our lineup in the secondary, specifically getting Eddie Jackson and Marcus Williams off the field. You know, now that we got this Buccaneers out, game out of the way, when we look at our next like three or four games, in my opinion, these next couple of games are not that difficult, at least on paper. I don't think they're going to be that difficult. So I think this would be the ideal time to try to experiment and see if you could find better solutions than Marcus Williams and Eddie Jackson. And by better solutions, I'm talking about like, giving Bo Braid a shot, giving Sanusi Kane a shot, Ardarius, Ardarius Washington, seeing what they got. 
Our Darius Washington has already exceeded everybody's expectations this year. He's been, you know, for the most part, he's looked pretty good. He's dropped a couple picks, but overall, he still has made some plays. Bo Braid and Sanusi Kane, obviously they're rookies. Sanusi was drafted in like the seventh round and Bo Braid was undrafted. But at the end of the day, in order to find those gems, you're going to have to take some risk. You're going to have to throw some people out there and just see what they got. And right now, in my opinion, this is entering a more soft part of our schedule. This would be the ideal time to try to take that risk and see what you got. It can't get any worse. Out of the 82 qualifying safeties this year that have played, Eddie Jackson and Marcus Williams are literally ranked in like the bottom I think the bottom five or the bottom seven in the entire NFL. So it really can't get any worse. I know Harbaugh, he hates the idea of throwing rookies out there for whatever reason, but again, it can't get any worse. And in order to find those gems, you're going to have to just take a shot in the dark and just see, hey, let's throw them out there and let's see if one of these guys ends up having a lot more than we expected them to have but we'll see how that works out as far as the injury report we don't have too many people injured compared to what the browns have but we still have key players missing like marlon humphrey he got the knee injury against the buccaneers i don't expect him to play but we'll see zay flowers he got his ankle hurt back in the buccaneers game i doubt he's gonna play he hasn't practiced much this week. He did practice on Friday, but at the same time, they literally said that it's not going to be officially announced if he's playing or not until like 90 minutes before the game. So to me, that would give me the impression that he's not playing and he's not 100% ready to play. We also make we also have Travis Jones on the on the injury report as well as Arthur Millett, who many people believe is going to be coming back in the near future, as well as Keaton Mitchell. I'm excited to see that, but I don't think either one of them are going to appear in this game. But we'll wait and see. Maybe Mollette does, but I doubt it. Nate Wiggins, he apparently didn't practice. He has, He's dealing with um, a shoulder issue. I'm assuming it's from that one play with, where he dropped that interception and landed directly on the shoulder in Bucks game. And then it also said an illness. I don't know what illness they're referring to. But on the Brown side, they have a way way deeper list of injuries than we do like they're missing their tackle jack conklin they're missing grant delpit jerome ford uh miles garrett's most likely gonna play i would assume but yeah, well, hold on miles garrett is most likely gonna play even though he's been kind of dealing with a foot issue all year they're also missing people like jordan hicks um jerry judy's dealing with the knee issue so they have what looks to be a more they definitely have a, a longer list of injuries than us, but I, regardless of who plays or not, I don't think this should be a difficult game, to be honest with you. I just hope Harbaugh doesn't play down to his competition the way he normally does. Our offense has another game to build up their confidence and puts, uh, puts some serious get some points on the board and just continue to keep rolling. The Browns defense, surprisingly this year, they've been underperforming. I am kind of shocked by that. I don't know if it's just because they've regressed or because they just had such little faith in Deshaun Watson that they just kind of started to give up. But either way, I'm interested to see the Miles Garrett and Ronnie Stanley matchup. Ronnie Stanley has returned to his prime form this year. That's exciting to see. So I'm, I'm very excited to see him hold his own against one of the best pass rushers in football. I'm assuming Zadarius Smith will probably be matched up against um, Roger Rosengarden all day. I'm interested to see how that matchup looks, unless they, you know, move them around and put them on the inside and try to get them against Valele at some point. But assuming that they just do what we expect them to do, I think Ronnie can hold his own. Like, if he can hold his own against Max Crosby, I don't think somebody like Zadarius would be nearly as big of a headache for him. Even though he did have a rookie moment last week against the Bucks, where he just gave up an easy sack to start the game off, but it is what it is. I'm curious which players are going to go off in this game. Let me know what you think, which players you guys think are going to go off. Uh, tomorrow is supposed to be National Tight End Day, so we all know that teams typically try to go extra hard to get their tight ends to have like really good games on that on that day. 
So I'm one, I'm very curious if we're gonna take that same approach and allow Andrews, Likely, or Kolar to break out. But overall, there's nothing super special about this game in my opinion. I think as long as we go in there and play a clean, efficient game, especially on offense, I don't think this game should be even slightly close. I think that we should easily, I think this game should be over halfway through the third quarter. There's no, like I would be very disappointed if like we get into the fourth quarter and somehow this game is still close but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below and let me know who do you think is going to win and let me know your score predictions in the comment section below